Welcome to High Yield Med Reviews and another Quick Tips tutorial. Today we'll be looking at two approaches for creating a successful study plan. Whether you're preparing for a BPS exam, NAPLEX, or nursing exam, these approaches can help you make the most of your study time and cover all of the necessary material. First, we'll look at a systematic approach. We begin at your account dashboard. All course content is broken up into categories for lectures, ebooks, and for QBank. A systematic approach to study works through these categories one at a time. Focusing on a single category allows you to watch the lectures and use the QBank in that category to reinforce what you're learning and fill in the gaps. In this example, we've begun working through the cardiology category lectures. We can return to our dashboard to go to our QBank and focus in on the cardiology questions as well. Let's set up a QBank session pulling only new and used questions from the cardiology category. I've selected the first answer for each question to give us an idea of what a test looks like. As we review our test, we can flag questions that we want to come back and visit in the cardiology category. In the future, this allows us to set up study sessions pulling only flagged questions from the cardiology topic. Moving through all the topics in this systematic way will ensure that you are fully prepared for your board exam. Our second recommended approach is identifying your weaknesses to create your study plan. We've returned to an account dashboard and this time we will start with the QBank. In order to identify your strengths and weaknesses, you will need to get data into your user account. With this approach, we recommend that you spend time doing a significant number of QBank questions in the beginning of your subscription. Once you've done this, you'll be able to use the My Performance tool to see how you're performing. This page provides snapshots of how you're doing in each area, as well as your top five strengths and weaknesses. You can use this information to identify the topics where you need to spend the most time watching lectures and practicing QBank questions. In this example, I can use the feedback on my poor performance in the psychiatric category to focus my lecture activity. All of the High Yield Med Reviews course components are customizable and flexible to meet different learning styles. We hope these two approaches will help you find the best way to use these tools for your success. Visit our YouTube channel or tutorials page to learn more about our products and features. 